Hi there, this is Andy with Pale Spruce, and this video is going to go through my uh, ultralight bike packing coffee setup. And this is a full setup, including uh, a cozy. I got my coffee pot, stove, lighter, fuel, and coffee is, is all self contained in this unit. Total weight is around just under seven ounces. So if we open it up here, um, first you've got the, the cozy which is made out of Reflectix, which is really just bubble wrap with a reflective coating on, on both sides of the bubble wrap. So it helps keep the heat in once uh, coffee is made. And just use duct tape to put the pieces together. So the actual pot is the Heineken, the beer can. They actually don't make this one anymore, but there's a Foster's can that works it's same size and, and works as well. Uh, the Heineken's nicer because it's got the little ridges in the can and a little sturdier. But uh, inside of that, first it's just a little cloth. It's a, I think it's a Glad handy wrap. Takes up space to keep things from rattling, but also can clean out the pot once it's done. And then we have coffee, of course. I'm using the Taster's Choice um, Instant Coffee. I use two of these for each pot of coffee, so with the way I've got it set up, uh, two days worth of coffee here. You can also do the Starbucks Via. Um, I'm not really a Starbucks fan, so I, I go with the Taster's Choice. It's not great coffee, but it's coffee. And then next is fuel. So I've got two bottles here. Got a little one ounce bottle, and then I've got a, a two and a half ounce bottle. It actually came shampoo from a hotel, but repurposed it to hold uh, the alcohol, denatured alcohol, and just put it in a little Ziploc baggie, just in case it spills. Um, not sure if a lot of people carry their fuel inside of their can or inside of their pot, but I decided to do it um, to save space. When bike packing, I just didn't have enough space to carry the fuel. I did. I used to have this Jand pack, which is a small little zippered pack that goes on the frame, uh, and it would hold two two-ounce bottles. But just trying to reduce size, weight, everything, decided to put the fuel inside the pot, and it's sealed. Should be okay, but I haven't tested it out all that much. Next thing is the actual uh, stove and lighter. So I've got just a, a measuring cup to measure out my fuel, just anything from a, a cold medicine. And then a little mini Bic. Also wrap that up in another towel. Mini Bic and then the actual stove. Again, wrap it up just so everything doesn't rattle. And this stove is um, it's made out of one Red Bull can. Cut the two halves together. The instructions for this are on zenstoves.net. It's a low pressure side burner. And I've just burnished off the Red Bull um, so that it's the, the Red Bull labeling, so it's just the clear aluminum. And then a stir stick just to stir up the coffee. And then last thing in here is a little windscreen. So once you've got your, you can see that, um, got the stove, put the pot on top, and then the windscreen can go around. The windscreen's made out of just a heavy duty um, aluminum foil pan, lasagna pan. And I think that is it. Uh, I guess the other thing is the ring, just got one of the little plastic bracelets, put it on on the lid just to, so that it's not quite as hot. One more trick is the, the actual um, handy wipes. Fold those over and then I can use it to grab the cup once it's hot. I don't have to have any special wicking or anything else around the cup. So that is my full camp coffee setup. Everything here, uh, the pot, the cozy, fuel, coffee of course, and the lighter over here, all put together, um, weighs in at just under seven ounces. So, hope you have fun bike packing. Thanks.